Hey there, it's great to have you back for part two of our AI powered web designer series. Now today we're gonna to dive into the world of content creation and explore how AI can assist you in crafting killer content for your web design clients website. Now in our previous video, we introduced you to Tony the Deli Guy, our hypothetical client that ChatGPT helped us create. And we showed you how we used AI to create a personalized email proposal that helped us win the deal. It was pretty cool, you gotta check it out. But after this video, now it's time to move forward with the next step in the process, creating amazing content for Tony the Deli Guy's new website. Now, as we all know, content is the foundation of a successful website. It's what separates a mediocre website from one that generates leads and sales or does whatever the client needs it to do. But let's be honest, creating great content can be a challenging and time consuming process. On top of that, one of the most common issues freelance web designers face is getting content from their clients. Luckily, with the help of AI, we can help make this process a lot easier, simpler, and headache free. So let's do that. Now, before we can move forward with Tony the Deli Guy's website, we gotta gather some initial content from him. However, clients are notorious for being slow in providing website content, which usually delays the project unless your client is a professional writer. Chances are they're gonna struggle providing you with final content or copy as we call it in the design world. Now, to overcome this obstacle, we're gonna to ask Tony a series of questions to establish a framework, you know, start to point the content creation process in the direction we want it to go. Now, by doing this, we can use AI tech to assist in crafting effective content for his website. So I love using Notion to capture ideas, organize my schedule, writing, creating. I use it all the time for lots of things. Now it's also a great project management tool and it's free if you want it to be. There's a paid plan, but free is good. So I'm gonna create a Notion page with the questions I want Tony to answer and I'll invite him to be a collaborator on the page and ask him to provide answers to the questions that I lay out on the page. So here's the questions I'll have him answer. What's the purpose of your website? Tony says, to showcase my deli's menu and promote my catering services. Who is your target audience? Tony says, locals looking for a delicious lunch or catering for events. What makes your deli unique? We use locally sourced ingredients. We're family operated for 70 years. Celebrities have been coming here for decades and we offer cooking classes. What are the most popular items on your menu? The pastrami sandwich, matzo ball soup, and classic Reuben. Do you have any specific requirements for the website design? I'd like it to have a classic deli feel with black and white photos and a blue and white color scheme. Old fashioned, but not out of touch. Are there any websites that you like the look and feel of? I really like the website for Katz's Delicatessen in New York. And what kind of information should be included on your website? Menu, catering, hours of operation, our location, contact information, book a cooking class, and I want people to be able to purchase our retail products online as well. What retail products do you sell? Signature Spice Blend, I've created a signature spice blend that I use in many of my deli dishes. It's become so popular, customers have been asking if they can buy it, so I packaged it up in a cute little jar and added to my retail offerings. Also, deli aprons. My staff, they look so sharp in their black and white deli aprons, and customers have been asking if they can buy them. So I've started selling them in the store. They make great gifts for foodie friends or home cooks who want to feel like they're working in Tony the Deli Guy's deli shop. I also sell deli meat samplers. I've put together a sampler pack of the most popular deli meats, including pastrami, corned beef, and salami. It's perfect for customers who want to try a little bit of everything or for the out of town visitors who want to take a taste of my deli home with them on the road trip, on the drive home. Also got deli themed coffee mugs. I've partnered with a local artist to create a line of coffee mugs featuring black and white illustrations of my deli's most famous dishes, like the Reuben sandwich and the matzo ball soup. They're a great souvenir for visitors or a fun addition to any deli lover's mug collection. I gotta tell you, like Tony, <laughs> Tony's got some serious, well thought out products here. 
Here's another one, deli cookbook. Over the years, I've developed some of my own classic recipes for the deli dishes, some are more unique. I've compiled them into a cookbook. I sell them at the deli. Step-by-step -step instructions, photos, stories, history, culture, you name it, it's all there in the cookbook. So as you can tell, Tony has really thought through his, his retail lineup of products in his deli. It's a great way to, to increase uh, and to add another revenue stream to his business. So we gotta make sure that we include the retail products right on the website that people can buy and place orders around the clock while Tony is sleeping. Now, let's talk creating a site map with AI. Now, as you can tell, Tony's provided some great answers for us, and this is gonna help allow us to train ChatGPT, the language model, on what we need in terms of content. So we're gonna copy and paste those questions and answers and paste them into ChatGPT. And then we're gonna ask it to create a sitemap for Tony's website. All right, looks like ChatGPT is doing its magic. Here's what we get. Now, let's go ahead and add this sitemap to a new Notion document that we'll use as our official client copy deck. Copy deck is just a phrase that we use in the design web freelance client world where you know, you have a, a whole area where all your copy is being hosted. That's a copy deck. So I use Notion for that. Now, creating AI assisted content for the website. Let's start creating the content for our website based on the sitemap that AI helped us create. And we're gonna add it to our copy deck. All right, and we're also gonna create some descriptions for a menu, the items, the products, and we're gonna put them all here in our copy deck. All right, so we're making great progress on Tony the Deli Guy's website content, but before we go any further, we need to make sure that our AI assisted copy is up to snuff. Basically, we want to make sure it's original, sounds natural, and most importantly, is plagiarism free. So to make this happen, we're gonna be using a few different tools. So first, we're gonna run each piece of text through OpenAI's AI text classifier. The link for that is down in the description if you want to check it out. It's a free tool as a part of the OpenAI website. Now, there's also other great tools out there. You could just Google GPT detector, chat GPT detector. There's uh, example, uh, an example would be hugging faces GPT detector. There's a few that I use and links are going to be down in the description. We can use that to double and triple check our work. You check everything, you check everything twice. Now with these tools, we'll make sure our content is top notch and ready to impress Tony and his customers. And it's gonna make sure that we've got nice, human sounding, authentic, original content. All right, now, here's the key. The less likely it is that the content was generated by AI, the better. So this basically means that the content doesn't sound robotic, fake, AI generated and is more likely to pass SEO requirements. So the more we can tweak our content and customize it to sound more human, more authentic, and more on brand for the client, in this case, Tony the Deli guy, well, the better. Look, it's okay to use AI assisted content, but we don't wanna rely on it too much. We don't wanna make, have it make decisions and do everything for us. It's meant to augment and help us produce better results more quickly. It's not a substitute for our own creativity and authentic selves. Now, the next step is to ensure that our copy is plagiarism free and not swiped from somewhere else on the internet. Now there's many different plagiarism checkers out there that we can use. So feel free to use your favorite plagiarism, pl plagiarism checker. Does, does anyone have a favorite plagiarism checker? I'm not sure. Some recommendations include Grammarly. Grammarly's plagiarism checker is a good one. Uh, it's not free, it's part of their paid subscription, but there's also other great tools out there as well that are free. Now, how good they may or may not be, I'm not entirely sure, but you do your due diligence and find a good one that matches. Now, with the time saved that you're using ChatGPT to create content, probably you can afford to invest in a subscription for something like Grammarly and plagiarism checker. After running our content through the AI text classifier and GPT detectors, plagiarism checkers, we can be confident that our AI assisted content is ready to impress Tony and his customers. However, 
If you do find any alleged plagiarism or actual plagiarism, you've got to do your due diligence and ensure that it's original. Remember, AI is not intentionally trying to plagiarize content. At least I don't think so. But there's always a possibility that it could use similar phrases or segments that have been used elsewhere, especially if the model hasn't been trained very much on that specific topic you're writing about. So it's up to you to, you, to double check and to make sure everything is 100% original before we move forward with our copy, especially for our clients. You wanna make sure that what you're creating for your clients is authentic, original, on brand. So when I create AI assisted content, I rarely just copy and paste results. My process is much more robust and lengthy. The way I see it, there are three ways people use AI. And only one of those ways is the right way. And this is specifically when it comes to creating content. Now, the three ways that I think people use AI for content are the lazy way, the ignorant way, and the smart way. Now, the lazy way is just simply copy and paste the AI generated text without like any thought or editing. You just think it does your job for you. Now, the ignorant way is to assume that the AI generated text is perfect, original, and doesn't require any human feedback, input, or scrutiny. And then there's the smart way, which is to use the AI as a tool to help augment your workflow and produce better results quickly and faster, more efficiently. Now, the smart way to use AI for content creation is definitely the best way. It's the way that I try to do it all the time. It's, it lets you take advantage of the power of AI. It gives you that superpower while still having control over the final product. Now, by carefully reviewing and editing the AI generated text, you can make sure it's original, high quality, and tailored to your specific needs or your client's needs. So the way I see it is it's almost like having an executive writing assistant or like a ghostwriter who takes your notes and your ideas and you dictate your ideas and then turns that into some sort of end result, some writing that reflects your thoughts and your, your own intellectual property, but just through another person's pen. So getting content approval from the client. All right, now that we have some top-notch AI-assisted content that's original and plagiarism-free, it's time to get approval and feedback from the client. Now, this is a crucial step in the process because we wanna make sure that the client is happy with the content and that it accurately re reflects their voice and their brand and their brand story. So by doing it this way, we're saving time and making it easier for everyone involved. We're not just relying on the client to write the copy, which is not their job. And all they have to do is review our version of the content, make necessary tweaks, feedback, suggestions, and then give us their final stamp of approval. Now this way, we can quickly move on to the next phase of the project, knowing that we have a solid foundation of content that we can work with. We've got that copy deck where we could take all the content that we need to apply to the site. This is so great. It's a value add for the client, so you could possibly even charge more for your copywriting and content creation services. And it just makes all the rest of the project more smooth and efficient on schedule because you're not going back saying, hey, can you send me your bio? never happens. And the bio is always bad. So this is better. Okay. So Tony's reviewed our content, loves how professional, yet on brand it all sounds. And frankly, he's blown away. High fives to my AI writing assistant buddy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so let's recap what we just did using AI to assist us. So we started out by asking Tony some good questions to gather content ideas. Pro tip, you can even have AI and ChatGPT come up with some questions to ask in case you might not think of some. We trained the artificial intelligence, the language model, on the responses that we received from Tony, copying and pasting and saying, analyze this data. And we used that data to create a site map for Tony's new website. Everything's there from home pages to product pages, contact pages and more. Then we use the sitemap to create a first draft of the content using AI. Then we added all the copy after double checking it was original and plagiarism free. We made some tweaks. He added that to our copy deck in Notion. And finally, we sent that over to Tony, the deli guy to get some feedback and 
final approval from Tony before moving on to the next phase of the project. Now, the best part of all of this is that it took a fraction of the time that it would normally take. And now we have an amazing copy deck to pull from as we build out the rest of the project, use on the website, and even use for promotional content and marketing material on social media, ads, you know, press releases. And the cool thing is that with all this data we've been sharing with our AI, it's now trained on Tony's brand and information and content. So what we can do is we can easily create prompts like create an Instagram marketing calendar for Tony's website launch or write a press release for Tony the Deli Guy's new website launch. And our AI will produce a more accurate and impressive result, which requires less fine you know, tuning and tweaking. Now, up next in our AI powered web designer series, we're gonna be using AI art to create some mock-up concepts, design directions, mood boards for Tony's new website. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more so you don't miss that in all of our upcoming videos. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.